Hi and welcome to M Level 3's podcast on the installation of anchor nuts. The anchor nut is a permanently installed piece of hardware which features a receptacle for standard threaded bolts, screws, and other fasteners. The beauty of the anchor nut, or nut plate as some call it, is that it is replaceable. Anchor nuts do require backside access and are held in place with two solid countersunk rivets. Anchor nuts vary according to size, shape, threads, materials, and function. The most common type is the fixed wide mount for 1032 threads. Here we see fixed, floating, and domed type anchor nuts. An easy method of locating holes for new installations of anchor nuts is the nut plate jig. I don't know if you can see that correctly or not. I'll explain more. Anchor nut drill jigs come in a wide variety of shapes and sizes. Measure the bolt shank diameter. This will determine the clearance hole to drill. Drill the hole for the threaded fastener. For an AN3 bolt, this will be number 10 or number 11 twist drill. Confirm that you have the correct anchor nut for the intended bolt. Now, select the correct drill jig for that anchor nut. Check that you have the same size pilot pin as the bolt shank. Also confirm that the drill jig has the same spacing to the small pilot as found on the anchor nut. The anchor nut is not expected to sit flush on the jig surface. Next. Place the single large pilot into the fastener hole in the skin and drill a number 40 hole. Remove the jig, flip it over, and insert both pilot pins into holes. Drill another number 40 hole. Countersink those two small holes for standard solid rivets. The rest is standard riveting techniques. Install the anchor nut flush side against the skin on the back side. Always test your installations. Thread the bolt through the top skin into the anchor nut. Thanks for visiting our podcast on anchor nuts. Keep checking back for more clips on other aviation processes. Bye for now.